have been bullish on small cap stocks for a long time and uh, do you think so large companies will not be able to take advantage of these big bank reforms or going forward what are what is your outlook on large cap stocks if you can just say about it matlab large cap stocks mein jaisa maine kaha ki ek badi company hai jaisa larsen and tubro hai ya hindustan lever hai in tarah ki companies ke liye genuine 8% growth chahiye genuine right. actually hona chahiye utna plus more importantly most importantly not just real gdp growth but nominal gdp growth 13 14% hona chahiye right तो मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कि नवनीत माय गुड फ्रेंड वो उनको 14 परसेंट नॉमिनल जीडीपी यू नो ग्रोथ कहां से नजर आ रहा है अनलेस ही इज बेटिंग ऑन अ बिग अपटेक इन इन्फ्लेशन गोइंग टू एट और नाइन परसेंट तो तो बाई एंड लार्ज लार्ज कैप की अर्निंग्स ग्रोथ विल ट्रैक नॉमिनल जीडीपी ग्रोथ बाई एंड लार्ज दे विल बी एक्सेप्शन तो अगर चौदह पंद्रह परसेंट सत्रह परसेंट आपको चाहिए अर्निंग्स ग्रोथ तो चौदह पंद्रह परसेंट कम से कम नॉमिनल होना चाहिए जो फिलहाल मेरे हिसाब से हम पांच सात परसेंट के आसपास चल रहे हैं इसके कारण ही अर्निंग ग्रोथ नहीं आ रहा है तो दोनों चीजें नहीं हो सकती कि इन्फ्लेशन ही बहुत कम हो जाए अर्निंग ग्रोथ ही बहुत बढ़ जाए हमारे पास इस तरह की फेसबुक टाइप की कंपनीज नहीं है हमारे यहाँ ओल्ड इकोनॉमी टाइप कंपनी ज्यादा है जिनको की जीडीपी से हाई कोरिलेशन है उनकी अर्निंग ग्रोथ का लास्ट सात साल द ओवरऑल ग्रोथ हैज बीन एट नाइन परसेंट लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स द ग्रोथ हैज बीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन आई थिंक इन नेक्स्ट तीन पाँच साल में वी कैन गो बैक टू दैट फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन नॉमिनल जी डी पी विल ग्रो एट इलेवन ट्वेल्व आई स्टिल बिलीव मे बी सेवन टू एट परसेंट ग्रोथ फाइव परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन ट्वेल्व परसेंट एंड मे बी अ गुड पार्ट ऑफ कॉपरेट इंडिया कैन ग्रो एट थर्टीन फोर्टीन मैटर एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम विद अमाउंट ऑफ लिक्विडिटी इन द वर्ल्ड if india can only sustain and show consistency hamara problem ye hai ki hum 2 saal acha dikhane ke baad khud apne paon pe kulhadi maar dete hain <laughs> if we can avoid that if we can just demonstrate that this time around we have a good stable political system which will last for a longish period of time right that we have an economic system that will not be disturbed that we will not bring in and spring new backtrack taxes and retroactive taxes and make petty changes in our legislative mindset i think that's adequate because as i said liquidity in the world sees india as a unique destination sure or we don't honestly we don't need to do too much to attract more capital we just need to make sure that we don't hit ourselves on the foot again and again that's all and i think we we'll, we'll get the capital sure as far as quarterly earnings is concerned how do you see quarterly earnings performing or yahan pe like ek ek bunch of sectors hain jo perform kar rahe hain विथ टेलकोज और टू मेटल्स एंड एनर्जी एंड रेस्ट आर ड्रैगिंग आपको क्या लगता है कि वेन वी सी दिस ट्रेंड रिवर्सिंग और कहाँ से लेके इम्प्रूव अर्निंग्स का एक एक ट्रेंड देखने हम मिल सकते हैं मेरा मानना है कि मुझे कोई बहुत दिलचस्पी नहीं है कि लार्ज कैप्स कब परफॉर्म करने लगेंगे पैसा बहुत बन रहा है मार्केट में अगर आप देखें डिफरेंस बिटवीन निफ्टी परफॉर्मेंस एंड स्मॉल कैप इंडेक्स परफॉर्मेंस पिछले दो साल से देख लें डेटा बहुत क्लियर है बहुत स्पष्ट है तो मुझे कोई ऐसे कोई ऐसा कोई शौक नहीं कि लार्सन टूब्रो 40 परसेंट बढ़ जाए तो मैं बहुत खुश हो जाऊंगा मेरे पास एक शेयर भी नहीं है ना मुझे ना मुझे लेना है लेकिन लार्सन मिनी लार्सन एंड टूब्रो कम से कम 25 नजर आते हैं मुझे जी मिनी हिंदुस्तान लीवर नजर आते हैं मिनी एस नजर आते हैं मैं एंड आई थिंक आपके जो व्यूअर्स हैं वो भी उन, उनमें ज़्यादा दिलचस्पी रखेंगे बनस्बत की बड़ी कंपनियों में वहाँ पर काफ़ी ग्रोथ है बड़ी अच्छी कंपनियाँ हैं एंड आई थिंक कि वही एरिया है जो मुझे ये साल कम से कम नजर आता है कि वहाँ पर अनदर ट्वेंटी थर्टी Overall growth उस index में या at least चुनिंदा कंपनियों में आ सकता है शोर नवनीत वॉट्स यर वॉट्स यू और गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इंडियन इंप्रूव अर्निंग्स का एक ट्रेंड वेन कैन बी सी फ्रॉम यूर आई थिंक सर सब जो भी अर्निंग्स को ड्रैक कर रहे थे वेदर इट्स दी कॉपोरेट लैंडर्स वे इज अ कमोडिटी रिलेटेड कंपनीज कंपनीज मोर ड्रिवन बाय दी रूरल कंजम्पन वे देर वॉज डिस्ट्रेस आई थिंक वहाँ सब जगह रिवर्सल है एंड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई थिंक नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ ईयर्स मोस्ट ऑफ दीज सेक्टर शुड ए रिवाइवल एंड देन दी अर्निंग शुड इम्प्रूव हमारे साथ आनंद राठी साहब भी मौजूद हैं यहाँ पे सर जैसे हम इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड गोइंग फॉरवर्ड यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया एज अ ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर स्टोरी ऑन एयर ऑन वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स डू यू फील दैट कैन टेक द इकोनॉमी टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल इफ कैन जस्ट क्विकली हाईलाइट ऑन दैट सर I think uh, lot of these points have been highlighted by my esteemed colleagues here consistency is very important in our policies i think uh, the second is i think uh, the economic reforms which sure. gst is to my mind is a big changer i think uh, i don't believe it will really increase inflation because the tax rate which they're talking about if it is 18% i think the overall tax impact is much higher and big part is that this will bring into economy uh, in the tax regime many things which are not today Uh, are right. covered so, so i think uh, to my mind if it comes it would be good for fiscal uh, 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 you know fiscal uh, management so, so when do you see market touching 50000 from here on of sensex yeah <laughs> i think 3 uh, years 3 uh, uh, to 4 years is my call 3 <laughs> uh, to 4 years ye sensex ki baat maine ka isliye trip pucha ki sensex puch rahe hain ashish chawan sahab baithe hain 
So I think three to four years is, uh, is my call. I think we can see the sure. growth coming by at least about 15% uh, percent in All next right. three years. So Ashok, how do you feel uh, from here on next 25 years, which is our theme, and from here on, index or market, which level do you see? My own view is that we are in a stable position. The market is benefiting from immense amount of liquidity and attention. Uh, is the market a little expensive today? It is a little expensive. Okay. Has it run ahead of itself a little? Markets always run ahead of themselves. The real economy always follows the markets. Uh, but listen, we shouldn't be surprised if there's a correction in the near future. Uh, sure. You know, market, market never runs one way. Uh, and, and if there is a correction, I would think it's not bad. It will give an opportunity to new investors who have not been able to make an investment thus far to come sure. into the market. But overall, there is no denying the fact that if there is consistency of legislation, if there is consistent growth, whether that growth is 7% or 9% doesn't matter. Uh, India will still be the only country growing at that level uh, and the world liquidity will move towards India. I would argue that the market is nicely positioned for a stable growth from here on. 25 years from here on, if you are willing to give your comments, how do we, how do we see the Sensex and Nifty performing? My point is, market is always going to give you a lot of opportunities. All, right. All the time. In February this year, market fell very sharply, as we know. All right. And at that point, a lot of stocks in that one week lost maybe 20-30%. Right. That's why they double-triple in the past 5-6 months. So, this will be the case of the bazaar. By and large, in my view, interest rate scenario globally cannot change. They say that there is no risk of the rate hike. There is no risk of the rate hike in the world. This means that equities will always remain a more attractive option for people rather than fixed income. Which means the money will keep coming to chase higher returns. I mean, exactly. that is very simply the broad macro arithmetic. Uske beach mein hum well positioned hai. Paise ka ek lion share humko aata rahega. Us paise ko hum thik se thoda istamal kar le. I think we'll be okay. How do you see market performing from here on? And uh, what levels are you comfortable? I know that you being a mutual fund house, you cannot give levels. But definitely, if, <laughs> if you can just highlight some... In India, you can see four things. There is a revolution coming in where people are putting money in financial assets. Pension funds are investing. I talked about Modi. I talked about the monetary policy framework and we have the right demographics in place. I think the US had a period of nice, non-inflationary, continued expansion for 20, 30 years. That's why all the asset classes did well. I think India may be in that 20-year period. Modi government has been completed for two years. Okay, let me dilute this for you. How do you see this two years of Modi government versus 10 years of UP government in terms of reforms? We'll have to give them more time. I think two years is too short. Any data that one analyzes, if someone is watching in a company, then we have to see data for 5 years. So I think it's too early days to start to say good, bad, ugly. Ashok, so you would like to quickly add to that? The, the only thing I'd like to say is uh, based on engagement and interaction that one has had with this government, uh, this government certainly believes in looking at the detail and the nitty-gritty. So, you know, when you say that, <clears throat> will they be able to implement GST in uh, 2017, unlikely that they'll be able to do it by April 2017, but high probability that they'll be able to do it by October 2017. And that despite the fact that, you know, uh, it, it needs a lot of detailed homework to be done, Sure, Navneet, your quick reactions on that. Uh, Modi government ke jo do saal complete hue hai, and how do you rate this government in terms of reforms going forward and what are your expectations from them? The perception about India has undergone a tremendous change with the way PM has gone around the world and has created sure. the, the perception, the far better perception about India. So I think some of these things have a far reaching implications and we have to wait and watch. Sure, Ashok, how do you see or what are the threats that can derail the big expectations going on from here? Uh, resolving the banking corporate impasse, uh, right pricing those assets. Fortunately for India, long-term insurance and pension plans around the world find India an attractive destination given the currency stability even at 14-15%. So unlike sure. private equity which has Gee. historically said we don't want to invest unless we get 20 and 22% return, Pension funds, and you've read about Brookfield, you're reading about CPP, you're reading about CDPQ. These guys are flush with liquidity. And in their case, because of life expectancy growing up, liabilities have become long dated. So they are now looking for long dated assets. Right. And which country other than India really to provide long dated assets? 
So they're very comfortable with 25-year risk, 25-year investment in India. All that we need to do is find a mechanism where banks and promoters are prepared to say, let's forget the past. Aap thoda haircut lijiye, main thoda bezta hoon. At least the asset becomes productive. It's refinanced. Banks sure. get the money back. And I guess if we can find a solution to that impasse, sure. I would say we've done well for ourselves.